Palpatine Protection. Mm. This is Kareem right here representing for Pelper Time TV and we are on location of the Champion Dog Fest. So it's a festival for dogs right here at the uh, Trainers Park, which I know as Caymanas Park is the Trainers Park in Gregory Park, St. Catherine, Jamaica. So welcome. If you look around, you can see different species of the canine breed. So stick and stay with us as we go among and interact with the groomers and the owners of some of these wonderful breeds of canine all right stick and stay We're the third place runner for uh, the fashion show right here at the championship fashion. Hold on, you tell me. But you entered the dog. <laughs> I, was just, I was just here for the for the show and then they said enter him. I was like, okay, fine. Okay, your name by the way? I'm Stacy Ann. Stacy Ann. And that is? That's Miley. Miley was moving wildly. Yes, he was. <laughs> <laughs> this is his first fashion show. I mean, we didn't. We just came here for the show. Never really wanted to enter, but then they encouraged us to enter, so we just entered. So next year we'll be in fashion next year. Fashion Nova style. What do you mean, Miley? Now talk to me, why you why align yourself with this event of this this day? Well, you know, Morris, I'm a virgin, I'm, I'm trim at my barber shop. See, I'm telling you about the show from last year. We come last year, and it was a good look. You see, somebody decided to just come back. So, all these were done over a period of time or after you came to the first show? Well, over a period of time. These are freshly done. The dogs are freshly done. The dogs are what? Freshly done. Okay, the dogs are freshly done, so the money is a creator of dogs <laughs> in the art form. <laughs> well, looking here now, there are different portraits. How long it normally take you to do a portrait? Okay, depends on the mood, right? Some of them will take all four hours or less. Yeah, four hours or, or less. Because you actually want to catch each detail. And this is shading, it's not just, it's just not painting portrait, but it's shading. All right, so you can see you have your different. Zin, so how long it took you to do this puppy? No, this is Maestro done. Uh, yeah, this is four hours. Alright, so it's detail art. Now for a portrait like this, what we're we talking about cost? Cost this is 15, 15,000 up. 15,000 up. Yeah, now people you on the size, depending on the size. Now people you can't complain. This is what you call um it's not sketching. Yeah, it's, it's sketching. Pencil sketch. Best pencil sketch. You say a long time. I left art school a long time ago, you know, so I don't remember the terms. You you stuck with it, yeah. all right? So how persons can find you, Mark? All right, Passes Fort Drive, 29 Passes Fort Drive, Portmore, 854 5202. You left off the 876, you know, a foreign thing to you, know? Yeah, I, I them changed it up on with still, but 876 854 5202. Wonderful. Okay, right here now interacting with the beautiful Mona Lisa. Well, Lisa, yeah, <laughs> from Heroi. Is that a proper pronunciation? Okay. So no, it says Heroi. But most persons says Heroi, but it's not yeah. Heroi, it's Heroi. <laughs> or her o -I. It's Heroi. There you go. So, Heroi. And there's no two way about it why you are here today. Because it's all about, what, proper nutrition for the pets? 
Well, we're here today to promote our product. That's the Heroi Dog Food, where we have it in all different sizes, from 1 kg to 25 kg. We also have our top cat. That's cat food. Yes. So we even have the cat food in three different flavors. We have it in vegetable, we have it in fish, and we have it in beef. The cat food comes in two sizes. We have a 1 kg and a 2 kg. Hold up now. It sounds like the cats are eating better than I. Vegetables. Yes. <laughs> even, even the dogs have vegetables. Even the dogs do go vegetable also. So animals need to live like humans also. I totally agree and I just spoke with someone who is about, all about proper nutrition of the dogs and making know that we're not to even give the dogs cooked bones. So Heroi will be an ideal way to keep your dog or your cat or your pet whatever just dog and cat are you okay for it? Yes, we do and we also do local spice that's for human it's a seasoning <laughs> you can use one sachet to season and whole chicken so you cater for human animals the, the, this creature yes. <laughs> yes we do okay so how does someone now get in touch with heroi all right we are at 137 Olo Pro, that's Kingston 6, that's where Super Valley Home Center is in Ligony, yes, and our number is 977-2211, so you can call us at there also. There you go people, hey Roy, give the animals some vegetable in their diet and stop giving them bone to chew. Okay, so we are here still at the Festival for Dogs and I'm speaking with Olivia, not from Scandal, but Olivia, <laughs> pet food. I saw on the back um, of the t-shirt, treat your, what, treat your pet well, finish it up for me please. Your pet is good to you, be good to your pet. Not a lot of persons do such. So tell us a little about pet food, but there's no two way about it while you're here, it's about the pets. Better give us a little feedback how long you've been doing this, how long you've been in Jamaica. Well, I'm a rep for Pet Food Institute and they're not um, located in Jamaica, but we have presence in the Caribbean. So Turks and Caicos, the Bahamas, Trinidad and then Jamaica. And the goal of Pet Food Institute is to make sure that people have healthier pets so they can have longer lives. And in the Caribbean, we have a tendency to feed our pets what we eat because, you know, we think food is so important to us and it's an extension of what we do. So we think it's safe to give them the same foods, but it's actually very harmful because what's safe for us is can, it can actually be deadly in some cases for pets. There you go. Oh, it's just the dog. Just give them the leftovers, right? But that doesn't do well for the dogs. Outside of the, uh, the meal, what else makes the, the, the dog or the pets healthy? Well, the, our focus is, of course, is in their nutrition. So you have to make sure that they do have healthy um, and um, supply to water as well. Um, but for us, we really, really want to make sure that people know what the um, foods are that are, are very unhealthy. And it's not just, oh, it will make them sick, but it's like it can actually kill them. So something as simple as four or five grapes can actually be fatal. And if you have a, a, a child that has a pet and that's their best friend and they're responsible for taking care of them, if I'm having a snack and I'm seven years old, I think it's okay to share. And that's a loving thing to do, but at the end of the day, it's actually very dangerous. So we want to educate everybody so that they know what's safe and what's not safe. And so that's, that's parents, that's children, that's everyone, so that they know how to make sure that the pet that they do care about, even if it's just a pet that's there to take care of your home, you still want them to be there. And so knowing what to feed them and what not to feed them, things like chocolate or nutmeg. Nutmeg can cause hallucinations and seizures. Like, so giving them cookies, it can have macadamia nuts. All of those things are things that you can't feed your pets. And we think that it's fine for us to eat, but we don't realize that it's actually very deadly for them. And in Jamaica, we went around um, in August to talk to a lot of the vets. And we were asking them, what's bringing these pets into the vet's office? What's, what's your emergency surgeries look like? And they were like, it's mostly corn in the cob, mango seeds, and cooked bones. So 
yes, a dog can eat a mango that falls on the ground, but we're also feeding them what's left over on our plate, and there's corn in the cup that gets lodged in their throat, and it becomes an obstruction, and then you have to have a surgery to open them up to take this out. So something as simple as, oh, the dog should know they shouldn't eat corn in the cob, but they don't. So they're going to eat whatever's left on there, and if they're really hungry, they will eat it for sure. And feeding a dog onions over time, raw, cooked, powdered, no matter what, is very deadly, and we cook with that so much. So we want to make sure that people know what's safe to feed your pets and what's not. So pet food is still always the best answer. So what about bones? Well, apparently cooked bones is actually where it's the worst. And those are the things that you think give a dog a bone, right? But that's not necessarily true. If you give a dog a cooked bone, it can get lodged in their throat or become an obstruction later on. So giving dogs cooked bones, you know, we have a little bit of curry goat and you give them the rest and you think that's a great treat for them, they'll enjoy it. And there's so much in there that they shouldn't be consuming. And it's actually why a lot of dogs don't live as long as they should. And we think it's always, been, oh, I have a mongrel, that's not that big of a deal. Of course, it's not going to live as long. No, that's the reason why they aren't. They should have longer lives. There's, there's no reason why your dog shouldn't be around for way longer than they have been. How someone can find you or get in contact with you to get some more insightful information on making their pet live longer? How? Well, they can go to Pet Food Institute online, and our website is pficaribbean.com, or they can find us on Instagram, um, Pet Food Institute Caribbean, and on Facebook as well. Thank you so much, Olivia, for that informative interaction. Thank you. All right, so this Jacqueline right here with, uh, what's your name, my brother? Kurt Isaac. Kurt Isaac. And that's what? Acorn? Acorn Sales Auto. Acorn. Hold on. Acorn, I come from Hong Kong. Acorn, Acorn, Acorn. Acorn. not to crack. <laughs> All right. See that? All right, so there you go. So I get the whole thing now with what you're coming to represent and stand for in the auto automotive company business. All right, what, what, you're, what you find is that um, this dog show creates the opportunity. To me, ladies, I know you always see ladies showing off in the traffic with a little pretty dog hanging out the window. So, a dog show presents an opportunity to present some nice cars for people to display the dogs as well. I was wondering why the dog show, why you're lying yourself with dog show. You just, you just made it clear. So, then if you ask a question there. So, let, let's look at some of the, um, the, the vehicles we have here. This is a what? This is a 2016 Honda Accord, out of uh, Left Hand Drive, out of America. And, as you can see, red interior, nice and thing. Ah, sport. Bucket seat? Huh? Is it bucket seat? I can't say from here, but bucket seat. It's a regular seat. sit and seat, not really bucket. Really yeah, man, loads of things. Alright, talk to me. This is a um, mid size hatchback. It's a, it's a um, Toyota Aris. It's a hatchback car. It's out of Japan, as, as you can see. And this is a Honda Stream, a seven seater. Aris. Yeah, man, uh, it's the RSV. The, the more sporty type. No, you have to have something on the same. Um, here, yeah man, yeah man, yeah man, but here what now, we have Acorn, we don't compete with the big companies, we give you some nice price, so we discourage you from going there, so I'm tell the price with this, you know about the one going to well, this is a 2016, left hand drive, just for 7.5, with that we give you now, Efran, you see 7.5, definitely, alright, alright, well, i try to win the lot and come back to you, yeah man, and as you can see, it's a Nissan Latio, they, they moved from the, the, um, Nissan T, that's so this is the new new shape, the Latio. Latio. This is yeah, cheap, cheap. It's the cheapest sedan on the road now. What are we talking about? This you can get it for like 1.350. Not bad at all. Yeah, really, Akon. Hard not to crack. Hard not to crack. Going to be in the business for a while, my brother. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. Um, we've been around for eight years now, and we're at our present location, lot 53, West Tradeway. That's um in Portmore, across from the NCB. The same road, the NCB and Max season. So that's where we're located. Contact number? 333 5555 334 Go on again. 425 Then you have 425-8985. 616-4777. Easy. You go, chocolate chip.
All right, this competition is being judged by Shane Highly Money. Contestant number 21. How does she look? How does she look? Contestant number 21, Miley. Tio. Contestant number 19, that's Tio. How you doing? It's a doggy fashion show. Shane, you have the last say who will it be? Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip? Why chocolate chip? Can you tell me what were you looking for? Well, it's a dog in fashion show. I chocolate chip. I'm a pullover. <laughs> so chocolate chip came out in her pullover. And chocolate is a chocolate chip one. Good chip. Chocolate looks good. So, your name again, darling? I'm Felicia Stewart. Felicia Stewart. Okay, now, Chocolate Chip was just strutting the ground way with such elegance and, and poise. Now, are you surprised that Chocolate Chip came no, first? No, I'm not. I'm not. It's, it's something that he always loves doing. In the morning when he gets up, he just come, wait me, and we just do our walk. And he, he enjoyed it every day, every day. So Chocolate Chip is one cocky dog, eh? He, just got he is very, yeah. He loves to show off. Yeah. And, and surprisingly, today is his first day. First, first show as, as well. Look at that. First time on the whole competition circuit and came first. Yes. So he's a very special dog. He's very unique and he's very loving. So, so chocolate chip, cockiness pays off, eh? Look at that. Yes. <laughs> So good. Any any hesitation? Were you thinking like, oh, this doesn't look like he's going to even come up in no, the top three? I, I'm confident right, right from the get go. Even when I'm coming, he knew that he was coming somewhere. He was coming somewhere because he was like, can't wait for me to get in the car. And he was so excited looking out the window and all of that because he didn't want to go in the cage because I normally travel with him with the cage. But it's, it's all good. It's all good. Blessings and it's all good. I'm not really surprised. Wonderful. Thank you, Felicia, for the moment. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Presented to you from Torpedo Loans, a cash prize for your dog, chocolate Thank you chip, so right? Much. Thank chocolate you so chip. Much. Thank you. You should buy something for him for Christmas. Oh. <laughs> Very excited for that. Okay. Yes. vegetable also so here you go on behalf of Heroi and congratulations thank you so much I appreciate it was, was that the vegetable or was that the fish no, the vegetable for the other for dogs not for a cat for a dog. torpedo loan now explain to me why torpedo loan will be here a money lending agency with what come get a loan for buy an expensive dog yeah. Uh? Many things, expensive dogs, you want um, food for your dog, you want treat for your dog, you can come to us for a loan. We lend loans for all purposes. For all purposes. So, so apparently Torpedo Loan is Santa Claus for the winter, for the Christmas here. So listen, come out, get a Torpedo Loan so you can actually buy some expensive toys for your dogs, your, your cats, your animals. But seriously, you know, the process of uh, getting a loan at Torpedo. Just your tearing, an ID and a photograph, that's all we ask for as it relates to documents. Hold on there, wait, 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 hold up. TRN, an ID, and one passport size photograph. That's all you would require to come into us. And, and you don't have to put up some things for a guarantor? No, or we nothing? don't ask for collateral or guarantors. No. Nothing like that? No. Bill, how much money you want to borrow? <laughs> <laughs> and we have 32 branches island wide. 
How much the most someone can can uh, ask We lend uh, from ten thousand up to a million for first time. Up to a million. For first time, yeah. For first time, was yeah. All right. Uh, what's your name, darling? I didn't even get your name. Kadian Dunn, operational manager at Torpedo Loans. Kadian Dunn, look out for this jacket, you hear? I come look at money. So Morris, you definitely, definitely, you have a love for dogs. Yeah man, definitely, definitely love dogs, you understand, always. You understand, I'm doing this for 18 years, you know, and it's going on fine so far. 18 years, when did you get your first pup? Uh, to be honest, you know, you know what I I got my first pup when I was about five. Yeah, and I have one dog, the name Spot. No, or drum you can mongrel dog Spot. I was just about to ask you what speech, what, what breed of dog, you know? Most mongrel. She was a mongrel man and Spot died. You understand why she was giving birth. I never know nothing about dog. You understand the puppy stuck and couldn't come out and she died. You understand? So from that I have a passion for dogs, I grow up. I usually keep dance too. But I look upon it, I don't really enjoy dance. Mm. You understand? So I say, here what, I just do the dog show, do something with my love. And I constantly doing it and it's going on fine. So forget about entertaining the people. Entertain the dogs, right? <laughs> Put a celebration on for the dogs. No, to be honest, you know, entertain the whole family. Because once you come with your dog, you're going to carry your, your child with you. You're going to carry your grandmother. You carry everybody because you're going to want to see your dog win. No, no, you just said that because now I'm realizing how much Jamaica has adopted the whole concept of a dog being a part of the family setting. Yeah. It was not like that when we all grew up still, you know, it's like a mongrel and... Yeah, but right. no, it's a part of the family. Yeah, and people learn now, say, not just give your dog bone. You have mm. to make sure you give that deworm your proper dog, nutrition. buy proper nutrition. You have ROI dog food, you have other dog foods that you can buy and give your dogs also. You can give your dogs, go and get your heartworm guards and stuff from Hyper Ace. You can get those nice stuff and your dogs will be perfectly fine. You understand, healthy dogs. Healthy human, healthy dogs also, don't. They, there you go. No, but the whole the, the whole thing was set up. When, when I came, it was a wow factor. Someone was saying to me that um, they didn't know that Jamaica had dog shows. I said, I never knew until I was invited either. <laughs> so thanks to Pelper Time TV for allowing me to, to live this moment and be a part of this whole to celebration. Be honest, I have to give Pelper Time enough respect because he pushed the effort in the dog show. Oh, remember, really? like, remember early this year, in you know, the summer, no matter him go on show and him stress out, him all drive past all the venue and drive come back and say, Morris, I'm tired but I have to reach. Because I'm just just love the whole dog thing. So big up to Pelpa Time TV, Sun City Radio, and big up to all my sponsors like Hyper Ace, Eroy, Pet Food Institute. They are doing fine. You understand? I, re I realize you're a family man. Yes, you, I realize how you incorporate. So yeah. I can tell you're a family man. Yeah, because if you notice, we even have a bingo section. Yes. Because it's not everybody just enthusiastic about dog. So you know, you say you carry your grandmother uh, come. She not really want to come stand up around a dog and something. Mm. She can go play some bingo. You understand? So they enjoy themselves with the bingo also. And you know, fresh cash bingo. I think this is Pelpa time did I try him luck, but I don't know what I mean, run away. It wasn't, it wasn't Pelpa, it was I. It <laughs> No, I couldn't go up with a Bridget who was winning like about four or five times and I don't know why I'm up on theme card. But well, you know, I but... I don't know, he must walk with something in his pocket. <laughs> possibly, possibly. And I, I realize that there's a setting for the children as well, the bunks about, yeah. the, the, um, the bull, all that, mechanical bull. So something for, I just said, it's a family affair. Yeah, it's a, it's a family event. And if you notice, we have everything. So if you don't really eat meat, you can get a... A smoothie, you can get stuff from over there. You have turbo energy drink, you have also other stuff what you can get and just enjoy yourself. There's something there for the natty. Something there for the natty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough things that are fish there for the natty. You understand? Fruit shakes there for the natty. You understand? So, you know, so you can get anything where you want over the side proper. So, not just the natty. Something there for everybody. everybody. All right, Mark. Everybody. Thanks much for the moment, fam. Blessings. Do what family. you're doing. As I'm saying, find something that you love doing and do it, right? Yeah. Do and do it, it well. Do it to the best of your ability. There you go. All right. There you go, people. Mars, the man of the moment who is responsible for all this unfolding right here. It's just one big family event. So if you didn't come out, try catch it. I think the next one is going to be in Old Arbor in August. So Pelper Time TV, 
keeping you abreast, keeping you up to date as to what's happening with this event. Stick on stay. Pelpa Tom TV. Now go know it. This bridging have a serious bingo fest. The man, how many times you won, Horace? Round, round six. No man, I'm more than that. All right, no man, no man. It seems like about ten man. Round ten, round ten. Wait, wait, wait. Me not ask for none of the winnings, you know. No. Me ask one away. Give Off the air. Give it away, <laughs> yeah, me give it away, back. So what was it? What was it that had you keep on winning? Is it that the, the card? It's just the luck. luck. It's just the luck. Try your luck, did you? Can't stop your luck. No under kai under. Yeah. No under kai under. Under kai under. Just straight luck. Let well, me tell you, it's straight luck. So you just came with a certain energy, you just a vibe for say, yo, I'm going to play some bingo and yeah. win me some money. Me I'll win and give it back and make them. You give me a just straight luck. So it wasn't about the money, it was about the fun. Yeah, my sport that. Yeah. Are you fun that? Yeah. Your sport? Yeah, bingo. Gambling and my sport. On behalf of Reese's Garden, and we're located at Lot 1 Gregory Park Main Road, um, Gregory Park St. Catherine, and we are a flower and garden shop. We sell a wide range of flowers. We have a wide variety of pansetas. We have orchids, vandas, we have succulents. We have a wide variety of flowers, as you can see. Okay, what's the name again? Vivette McFarlane. Lady Viv. Now, how does flowers tie in with a dog show when dogs normally trample on the flowers? Well, guess what? You still need beauty. Beauty is all around us, right? And everything in nature. Dog has its place. Flowers has its place. And it's not just for the dog because the patrons that would come to the show would actually, they can see something of interest and maybe a keepsake to take home. And Christmas is around the corner so persons can actually get nice gift solutions. And even nice flowers to put beside a dog to take pictures, right? Even to have a photo up. <laughs> now you said orchids. Um, I can see a variety. Point out some of the, the, the different options. All right, you have this one is a spring song. Mm -hmm. Right, you have... What's this? This is a regular pancetta, but this one has a variety, as you see, a variegated one. So it has a bit of yellow, oh, yes. right, infused with some red. So as you can see, this is a rose pancetta. That's a rose. That's a rose. Right, so it's another variety of pancetta right there. We have a wide variety of desert rose. And we also have chronotones. You can see the pink, the red, varied shades. According to your taste and preference, we also have bougainvillea. So if you're afraid of plants that don't need much care, we have those as well. All right, for someone who wants to take home something at a, a very affordable price, what, what, what are you talking about? We have plants like 500, we have 1,000. So it's all depends on your taste and your, your affordability. Please leave your contact. Okay, for any contact, you can call 876-541-7699 or 876-4333 and 534. Thank you much, Lady Faye, for the moment. Now, it makes no sense to ask, no, why Hypro is here uh, with a vet. First, never knows how Hypro connected with, with such things. So, shed some light. Redeem this truck, redeem. <laughs> All right, all right, this job. Hypro is an all-encompassing company which basically takes into account all the facets of animal um, management, um, husbandry, health and welfare, and also not just the animal side, but we are here representing that side because of the dog show, but also the horticultural or the plant side of it. So it deals with farming on all levels. And if you come to the store, there is also um, merchandise to take care of your house and home. And you have the pharmacist here. We are the only agricultural company that actually has a veterinary pharmacy. That's, the, that's why I, I, I was taken aback. I was taken on, you know, really. <laughs> so, uh, talk, talk to me a little about in terms of 
high pro, but you, you just shed light on it. But in terms of dogs, as a vet, I was speaking with someone earlier about um, the health of dogs. And she was making known that nutrition is key. And what persons normally feed the scraps to the dog, it's, it's a danger to the dog. So you can you know, shed some light on that and, and enhance on that. All right, most animal feeds, be it your chicken or your pigs or cows, even your dogs, you have the heroin feed close by you, Purina, other brands. Those feeds are specifically designed and um, formulated for the best or optimal performance of the animal, namely the dog that we have here. And also we provide, and uh, we are the ones who distribute the vaccinations to prevent certain diseases that um, inflict the dogs, especially parvovirus. We are the ones who actually distribute that across the island. We have a wide range of um, products and uh, we try our best to help the, the, the farmers and the canine slash um, feline, which are cats, um, customers. But more so, we will instruct them to go to the clinics because there's a more comprehensive um, workup that they can do at the clinic. But we are the ones who, if they come in, we give them advice. If we can deal with that on site, but if it goes further or deeper, we send them to the relevant clinics closest to them. And this is where the pharmacist comes in. Okay. Yeah, as, as Dr. Harris was saying, we're the only veterinary pharmacy in the island, in fact the Caribbean. And so we cater to all types of animals, whether those that are pets or for livestock, the farm, all of that. Um, as yeah, man, pig, cattle, even horses. So, we're, so we have trainers and, and, and horse owners that come in as well as well as we carry not just drugs but we carry supplements for animals we carry like ear tags other accessories that you need in farming with the animals as well we carry halters and so forth as you can see from the display here not just for dogs but also halters for horses all right so we cater for a wider range um we have about we have several vets at hyper we have about what, five vets um we have those who are on the road across the island and they can visit farms and so forth as well as we have an in-house vet so if you come and you need some advice on your pet then you can come and talk to the vet um he can write a prescription you can fill the prescription at the pharmacy um and so yes we do write prescriptions for animals for dogs for your for your your horse for your pig um for your cat um so we cater to, to all your animal needs So I was made aware that you won this dog competition uh, in August at the Old Arbor location. So you're here today for what? To take it home for strawberry? <laughs> well, good afternoon, my brother. You know me now. Good afternoon, Pelpa TV. Nice to have you back here again. Nice to be on the show again, isn't it? Um, I try. I'm doing my best. You understand me? Representing a dog again named Chaptain from Classic Kennel, Classic Kennel Production, shown by Strawberry Bully myself. Right. So if we do win the show, or if we do compete, we're competing, competing the best. You understand me? Doing our best. So if our best is good enough, we'll win it. The dog is named what? Tropical? Chaptain. Chaptain. Well, on I don't, I'm not sure I want to come in contact with that dog. That dog sounds like... <laughs> you know, you know when you have some old them people when them say boy, a boy that trapped in you know, you mm. must you must know that you, you know exactly what that means. You, you know you're going for like um a King Kong type uh very yeah. beastly. A Jamaican saying trapped in interacting with uh, my big brother in radio we coming from way back when but now I mentioned radio station okay. if I can. Oh, we, from Roots FM days yeah, 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 from Roots. <laughs> eyes are big oh, family. I'm here my brother it's a joy to see the eye uh, this event though of this magnitude dog are you a dog lover by the way I am I am I, I love dogs um, I mean to me a dog is more than a man's best friend uh, we had a chat with some of the trainers earlier on and they'll tell you that guess what a dog the only thing the dog might not be able to do is to talk to you but you can talk to that dog and the dog understands everything you're saying so um, a dog is more than a man's best friend they they can protect you they can actually work as uh, like a security guard I had a chat with um, Diana she's uh, one of those dog owners and she mentioned that if you have a dog 
and you have a wad of cash you can leave the cash in that car with the dog no one will fool around the cash in your car you're at home you can sleep the dog will watch over you and so on so a dog is for a lot of persons more than a man's best friend yeah what do you mean the dog can't talk to us the dog, we just not comprehend what the dogs are saying are right. arr, arr, arr. <laughs> dogs are interacting we're just not communicating we're not on their frequency well guess what perhaps if we have a dog that will be able to teach us to understand what they're saying when they're actually barking or making those sounds i'm sure those dogs would more or less communicate with us yes I you know i think it, it it comes down to the owner of the dog the, the, the bond that that person have with that dog because absolutely. it's like a baby absolutely. how you know when the baby is hungry absolutely. how you know when the baby you know absolutely um trust me a dog is like some of the times that dog you'll talk to the dog you can chat and laugh with that dog that uh, dog understands and the dog respond uh, maybe wagging the tail or so maybe, cuddle up. yes we are the ones who have the deficiency and not the dog no, we are the dumb dumbs <laughs> we, we we have the dumb language and not the dogs the dogs be like why can't you get me be like dr doolittle like comprehend huh? <laughs> <laughs>